Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5, and in this episode, we're going to be making the preparations for our next operation. Also, Yusuke is sort of living with us now. Don't know how that's going to really work out. There's hardly enough room for me, but oh well, I'll worry about that later. For right now, we got to find our next target. Hope to do that, we got to get some sleep, and you needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. I don't care what the dump you eat, I need to get some sleep, brother. See you tomorrow morning. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society, and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society, in other words your picaresque, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms, and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. 
Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, uh, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Well, that was our roommate. Bummer. I was looking forward to dumping, like, Morgana on Yusuke, so I don't have to do it all the time. But where the crud is he, Morgana? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. Oh, I sure hope so. I'm kind of thinking, do you even have a litter box, Morgana? What are we... What's the deal with that? And, yeah, I'm up. You know it's past noon. Kid ended up going back to his dorms. Uh, that's too bad, but yeah, he left the painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. We took care of him for one day. Isn't this his most prized possess? Don't you go steal? Don't sell it, Sojiro. This thing shouldn't even exist. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. I'd never let go of a beauty like this. Yeah, you better not. This painting's amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, the expression on her face. I didn't know you're a connoisseur. The regulars would probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Uh, yeah, about that. Kind of got it from the metaverse. That you know about that version, though. If you're up for the day, go and get dressed. Wait, why? Oh, I opened shop hours ago. Let's go take the cat out somewhere. Oh, yeah. Can't let an animal be in the restaurant. It's a good thing Morgana is so well behaved. I mean, we can directly communicate it with it. Sort of helps, I guess, and thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I've decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. Heck yeah, man, me too. It's glad it's here, and it's all because of you guys. I can thank you enough. P.S. I believe porridge is the best way to end up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we get it, man. You wanted some porridge. We c I don't have porridge on hand, Yusuke. I don't. I wonder if we got the porridge, though. Would he have stayed? Hey, hey. Eh, that's in the past, I guess. So Yusuke went home, huh? Well, I guess that's the best. Now it's just me and you. <laughs> Shut up, Morganon. Yo, just check the fan site. Some kind of thread on or looking for information about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's pretty lame. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. Brothers suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. Oh man, that sounds bad. Might end up getting killed at this rate. That sounds even worse, oh my god. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. Think he means those burglars where he's talking about them weird people? Probably, man. It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately, too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there were even in Shibu. Ooh, there's probably a lot. Dang. Things were starting to get serious. Well, you can't have people using our name in vain, right? I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly are we going to go about investigating? We'll go in Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them red-handed. Don't know about that. 
No way, the police would totally nab us if we're out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's pretty much a lose-lose situation. Hmm, if they target restaurants... Uh, what if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? Yeah, it's not really polite to Sojiro. LeBlanc targeted. Seems like a viable plan to me. I mean, might as well go for it if we can find a way to make it... Oh, he usually doesn't like that. Cut it out. Get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I'd forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? <laughs> Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posting as us in the future. Wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. Ooh, I like how she thinks. At the moment, our lack of info means we'll just have to wait. If we can continue searching for more information whenever possible. Yeah, I'm gonna try looking for stuff too, so. Huh. People posing as the Phantom Thieves and robbing other plate. That is pretty dastardly, but there ain't jack crap we can do about it right now. See what I'm gonna do. You know what day it is. Sunday. Every day. All day. You gotta drink that juice. No, don't drink it all day, because you probably have to pee a lot, but yeah, we have to come here literally every single time until we max out our stats. And that's going to be a why. I pressed the circle button by accident. That is going to be a why. Because <laughs> academics is very hard to level up in this game for some dumb reason. Anyways, we're gonna spend the rest of our day with On, who, dang, Hi. I'm digging the summer outfit. Pretty fitting of a model after all. I want to get something sweet right now. You're in the same boat as me, right? Right, I mean, I do have a sweet tooth, but at the same, t eh, screw it. We can just spend the day with On, why not? Let's go get crepes with tons of extra toppings. Isn't every additional topping extra on? I'm not made of money, girl. Okay, soon we'll be though when I steal from shadows, but you know what I mean? And it's like they're not doing famous double chocolate crepes. <laughs> I have the worst luck. I think you'll survive on. Oh, an email. Mm -hmm. Who says that out loud? <laughs> Looks like it's from the agency. I wonder what they could want. <gasps> Mika? At the Sky Tower. Where's that? Wait, don't you live in Tokyo on? They want me to head over for the shoot now. It's pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, this men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on her recent popularity. Oh, that could have been you on, god dang it. That sucks, but apparently she asked for me to specifically star alongside her for the shoot. I wonder why. It's pretty obvious on, I mean, she admires you a lot. I mean, come on, you are pretty great. So you think that's what she said earlier was the truth? Hold on though, why would you trick someone you admire? Oh yeah. Well, I guess I won't know what she wants unless I head over. Yeah, that's a good attitude to have, I guess, even if it is a trap. Have you been to Sky Tower before? No, well, let's go. I just moved. Uh, can you come with me? Actually, I've already decided for you, you're going. Uh, all right, guess we're going to Sky Tower for today, bam. Pretty cool place. I kind of wish I could go there one day. Even the surrounding area is pretty right. cool from what I can hear, but yeah, now we can go. Sky Tower, the surrounding area. <laughs> but, uh, On is like the best for finding new locations in this game, I swear. All the stuff that like Advancing Your Confidant does leads you to new areas. And All right, we made it. Wait, where's Mika? Oh, so you came for my special. You asked for me, right? Wow, I barely recognize you. Did you lose weight? Or did you change your makeup? Uh, the theme of today's shoot is the elegance of a woman. So, I conditioned my body to be more elegant. Uh-huh. What? Uh, what do you mean? Controlling what you eat, how you move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat. Make sure you check the nutritional and caloric content. I even hired a personal trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. Girl, that's way too much. You can't have any chocolate. I'm out and That's amazing. This means you can't eat double chocolate crabs. <laughs> of course I don't. I get fat with just one bite of that stuff. Not to mention the other stuff I do. 
I take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates, and yoga. Dang, both at the same time, that's wild. Day after day. How many squats do you think I do in a week? Ugh, a natural beauty like you could never understand how much work I put into my modeling. Wow, you're hardcore. You know, it's kind of embarrassing getting complimented like that. <laughs> She's so dense. Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant was natural airhead. What did you say? Who are you calling an airhead? I don't even like those candy, you... Uh, on senpai, stop it. You're scaring me. Ah! Mika-chan, are you okay? Ah! Man, cat fights are scary. But also kind of cool. <laughs> As he freddies his camera. Ugh. Dang, on oh, looks so cool. Oh my gosh, and... Mika-chan, yeah, it's perfect, exactly like that. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Even beautiful. I see now, this is a test. Well, I'm not gonna lose. Hee-ya! <laughs> it's like a JoJo pose up here. Anchan, could you try to be a little sexier? You mean like this? Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Wait! Mika... Why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. You should have known that was a lie. But I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off. You better not drag me down, okay? Wow. This chick is serious about modeling. I had no idea the modeling world was this serious. <sighs> Dang, oh, it's ticked. Ooh, you know the president of that fancy car company? Introduce me, please. Ugh, man, she makes me sick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The owner even invited me to dinner. You know, working with all you just makes me so happy. What a... If that's what it takes to succeed in modeling, dude. Ugh, man, and I'm heading home. Jeez, poor on. I mean, she was right on the money. She literally was sent here just to, like, make her look better. God, Mika's messed up, dude. Why didn't Mika ask for me? Well, probably to try and be better than you, but I think she wanted some competition since you're so naturally beautiful. You know? Make yourself work harder. Is that why she got mad at me? Maybe. Wait, so the real reason she requested me was just so she could be mean? Yeah, she's pretty messed up. <sighs> if that's the case, I probably deserved everything she did. You, did, you didn't do anything wrong. God dang it. <sighs> Cheer up, girl. You did nothing wrong. It's not your fault you're so great. I'm... Huh? <sighs> I'm so pissed off! Oh. Nika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, watched her diet, made friends with everyone. <sighs> she couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. Wait, you're mad at yourself? Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a totally different level than mine. Mika's amazing. Mika's strong. She's also a giant jerk. I mean, I'm nothing. Just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I could explode. Whoa, calm down. This whole time, I've just been pretending to model. It's like the clothes are wearing me. I mean, that's why I always thought being a model meant. That's not how it is, is it? But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear. Casts a stunning magic on them. A real model's flexible, beautiful, and strong. <laughs> well, I've had enough pretending. I want to be a real model! Heck yeah! Fall your dreams on. You go, go get him, Tiger! You're the best. I believe in you. I like how we say Tiger, but we should have said Panther. Right! I'll give it my all. I'm gonna take the world by storm. Just you watch. Oh my god. I believe in you. I think you can do it. Now the on has a rival dude. There is nothing stopping her. Sometimes a little bit of friendly competition can help out. I mean, Mika's a total tool and a giant jerk. But hey, having a rival to make yourself better personally helps me a lot and I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets, but no, I won't eat them. <laughs> I mean, I will, but not today. You eat some for me. <laughs> God Bye. take it. Man, On is so... That is a very admirable trait in a person in my eyes. If someone...
has like a competitive edge to them and wants to better themselves oh, for a specific reason, back. that's a big plus in my book. But yeah, back to our other thing. So what do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after what the guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. Yeah, we should probably get to it. Talking about a catchy coon, right? Know how you feel. Ah, oh, that high school detective. They have to shut up when we change another person's heart. Yeah. Should make the next target a real bad guy. Definitely. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Mm. Either way, I don't think we should leave a Ketchikun be. Yeah, just trying to change his mind. It's the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy will be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. Mm. All right, sounds good to me, but before we do that, man, it's kind of like generous of Yusuke to leave Sayuri here. Can really sense her kindness and tenderness for a minute. Mothers really are strong. Yeah, they are. Man. Anyways, on that uh, a completely unrelated note, you know what I'm finna do? Meet up with the best mom in the game, our our boy Yoshida. I, I'm a god of segways, and you never convince me otherwise. Man, you suffered, blah blah. Yoshida, man, you're the best, dude. How you doing, brother? How's your schoolwork? Dude, I don't do that crap. Come on, man. You know me better than I've scheduled a speech today. I could use your help. As usual. I mean, I really helped you outside of getting rid of that one heckler, and there will be cameras coming today, apparently. I don't feel good about that, but I'm going to collide. Let's give it our best effort again today. Regardless, we will do as we have always done. There you go, man. But, jeez, the pressure should be on with the cameras and stuff. That's kind of new. The most important thing Don't know is... if I could take that and... Acting not in self-interest, but for the greater good! Yeah. That is the mindset we politicians must instill in our constitutionists. Whoa, I said the word right. Crazy. Okay, all queued up. Okay, should be able to get a lot of interesting footage. It is no good tour, after all. I'm a sleazy director. Advocate. An overly optimistic policy, only to lure in voters during the election season. That's how no good Torah thought and operated 20 years ago. Making unachievable pledges. So realistic, man. Yoshida's so inspiring. So I'm going how I saw it. Uh, if you make a promise, you must keep it. If you make a mistake, you must atone for it. These are basic human principles that we have all learned from the youngest of ages. You can't just forget him because you're a politician and... Boring. He's making some pretty good points, don't you think? Eh, yeah, we're not paid to think, and that's why it's all useless. Ah, man. This guy can't catch a break. It seems like the only wanted to get some footage of the old no-good Torah. Very disrespectful. However, I've been distancing myself from that. I think I've regained my confidence. Bro, you are oozing confidence. You're slaying out there, man. Keep it up. Well, I must have if you think so. Oh, he's so bashful. However, I will never forget the disgrace I suffered as no good toy. Hey. Can I tell you a story? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mentioned this before, but 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to become a diet member. However, I wanted to be a politician for all the wrong reasons. <sighs> I wanted to be in a position of power. I was obsessed with a glamorous lifestyle. Is it really glamorous? I guess so, and I thought only for being popular. I truly was no good Torah. Hey. I learned from it. Learn from me. Don't let being a member of the Diet be your only goal in life. Voters are much more sensible than we give them credit for. Being ambitious and striving to advance in the political world will change your outlook on life. Wow. There's actually a lot of good info in there. I mean, you can set all these goals for yourself, but you shouldn't really be focused in just one avenue of your life because that can have a lot of like downsides. I'm even speaking for myself. If I only focus on making videos and stuff, other aspects of my life fail and give some good speeches, Mr. Yoshida. Can't be you who lost like two elections. Uh, you're Mr. Kuramoto's grandson. That's correct. I'm his grandson, Benzo. Huh. Does he know that you're speaking with me now? I'm aware that you and my grandfather are on bad terms, but that doesn't concern me. Oh. 
This must be your secretary, huh? I've already been helping you out a lot lately. <laughs> no, I'm not a secretary. What? Uh, you know about him? I know, it's all about Yoshida, right? My grandfather was recently hospitalized. You've begun the topic of our conversations. I'd like to talk with you again sometime. I learned a lot from your speech today. How about that? Everything's going great for Yoshida. Mm. Mr. Kumoto spoke of me. Is that a good thing? M Matsuhoshita! Wait, is that the other? Oh, yeah, it's the wrestler. Sorry. I have to take care of some business. Let's wrap this up for today. Dang, man. Dang, Yoshida's a busy man. Bit curious what that phone call's about, though. Hmm. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe next time. Well, then, I'll see you again. Man. I guess we have, like, a reputation being, like, Yoshida's spokesman, but like, okay, let's just, let's just wind that back a bit. Outside of, right, just holding up the sign and making fun of that one heckler and defending, you know, Yoshida. Did we really do much for him? I don't know, and, hey, it's Akechi. Fancy seeing you here. I didn't think we used the same station. Meeting here must be fate. I don't know about all that, and how are you doing? Not bad, man. I'm a little sleepy, though. How about you? Oh? Did you stay up late, too? <laughs> Are you alright? I'm so concerned for us. <laughs> I do like that response. It's honest. Keeps the conversation from dragging. <laughs> I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to m answer such questions. I suppose it's best to simply be yourself and say what you think. You've given me much to consider. If it's mm, too much trouble, May I ask you again? Yo, bro, I just said I'm sleepy and you got all that from that. I don't know, man. You might be looking into things a little bit, but... Nah. Yeah, I'll talk to him later, why not? Kids these days. Oh, someone isn't happy to see us. So I handed a bill over at the convenience store and they told me they don't take foreign currency. What I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who Hirobuni eats. I don't know who that is. I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japan's economy. I hope you all know this stuff. Here's a quiz just to make sure. I would legit just walk out of this class if this was my teacher. I did that plenty of times in high school. Then again, I was not a model student. Paper money is issued by the Bank of Japan, but who issues the coins? That's the government, man! Exactly. Or is how I like to refer them the government. Unlike paper money, coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. <sighs> An independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing money since... Cool, dude! I live in America, though, and we nice. don't have a really dumb mint. Thanks, forefathers that put that in place. Well, then again, I don't even know how the crap that works. Could be the exact same for all I know. Coins, so don't have as much of an effect on the economy, are still produced by the government. Simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. Best I can manage is pocket chain. Wow. Serious burn. Being able to get as much money as you want, whenever you like. I hope the next palace is somewhere awesome like that. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Come on, Morgana, don't get your hopes up. You can still just negotiate with the shadows, now that we're like really high, like rank with the sun, Arcana. That's pretty much our best way of making money right now. Obviously stealing treasure. Oh, good. Haven't gone home yet. Oh, hello. Kawaka. Ka oh, she's serious. And Nijima-san's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room? She says there's a report for a lost item. She wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Ooh, um, I don't know, man. I don't want to do that. Just go. If you don't, they'll come and complain to me about it. Okay, fine. Some council rooms right next to the library. Got it. Yeah. Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Yeah, that is kind of strange, but I wonder what she wants. Major girl's the one following you around, right? Could she be up to... She wanna ask me out? Crap, there's no way in... <sighs> Stupid sexy Akechi. Whatever. But anyways. Gotta go meet the student council president. God dang it. Which could she really want? Like... Does she have, like, some evidence on it? Does she want us to help find intel? Does she want us to join the student council? I don't wanna do that crap! I can barely pass my classes as is, but... 
Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Some council room, huh? What are we caught in here for? It's rather strange. Yeah, it's putting it lightly. Ah, earlier than expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to an extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. Uh, I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> it's just turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. 
He's on probation after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? All right. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? Well, what about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? God dang it, Nijima. If only Ryuji was just not so loud. God, I can't even be mad at him. He's my favorite and so effing pissed. Do we just gotta do what she says, man? That's... Uh, concerning what has happened, means we have no other choice. I wonder whose heart the student council president wants us to change. Don't matter to me. But there might be a reason behind who she picks, right? What if it's the principal? Nah. But, yeah, I guess we don't have a choice. I am curious myself who it is. She mentioned how she wants us to prove our justice, did she not? Yeah, she definitely did. Then there must be some reasoning behind her choice. At least it won't be like a good guy, right? Please contact me immediately if you find anything. And don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? <laughs> Who to pick on? Why you single me out? I ain't dumb! That's debatable. I'm not saying I'm much smarter, I'm just saying... If we need to win a quiz show for some reason, I'm not nominating Ryuji. Be careful. She's a shrewd one. He best be prepared for anything. Yeah. Seriously, like, god dang. If only Ryuji and An were a little bit less quiet, we would not be in this scenario. That is just crazy. Well, she would have found out eventually. She was just spying on us that closely. And, well, since things got to this point, let's to prepare ourselves and deal with it. We'll see our way through this somehow. Yeah, I mean, come on, we just gotta change one guy's heart, right? That can't be too hard. And uh, I wonder. Let's say we were in this scenario and the person just wanted us to target someone who wasn't, like, a bad person. Just to change the, like, we're basically being blackmailed here. But for a good reason. But this still sucks, because what if the target she chose isn't beneficial to the Phantom Thieves? We just gotta hope that, like, every party can succeed here, because... Yeah, our backs are kind of against the corner. I mean, obviously no one's gonna believe for the Phantom Thieves. No one can really investigate that, but... We might get kicked out of school, and that's not good. So either way, we have to comply with Niji. God dang, she's smart. And also really lucky. Hey. Also, hi. Hello. Hi. Who are you again? Morning. Going to school now. I'm just heading home. Morning sun is too bright. Who are you? And I, Why are you telling me your life story? I don't... Why does everyone do this every day? Hey, how could you forget a lovely gift? Uh, no, 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 honey. You're... I'm Ichiko Oya, a journalist. I interviewed you at the Matarame residence, remember? Oh, man, all nighters are tough. Well, you work hard on your stuff. I was gonna do that regardless of your influence. Get the dump out of my face. Okay, I'm going to school. I have enough to think about already, Lee. I don't know why I'm so randomly mean to her. <laughs> I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about?! That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. 
that's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous Phantom Thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? I knew you were gonna say that. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Council President from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? I'm not... Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I'm so mad! The Mafia... hmm... Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Heck yeah. The team's motivated, and when that happens, we can't lose, and we're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry, she will find something new. Uh, could I have a moment? Oh, hey Yusuke. What's going on, man? Well, it's, uh... I had a yearning to see the Sayuri. Oh, so if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. You know, you could have just said, hey, wanna hang out at your place? I mean, come on, Yusuke. You're always welcome. And LeBlanc, after Indeed. all, and... Ah, the Sayuri. Seems to suit this cafe quite well. Yeah, I think so, too. Thanks for donating it, and... I'm glad I chose to leave it here. Uh... Is that all you wanted to say? <sighs> I fear I've... Found myself in quite a horrible mess. Aw, oh, crap. What's going on, Yusuke? Yo, I'm here for you, man. What's up? To put it bluntly. I'm in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Alright, lay it on me. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, those struggles came to pass on each occasion. What's going on, man? Yet, now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. 
It seems I'm trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. No, oh, that's all, thank goodness. Are you aware that I'm attending Kose on my art scholarship? Uh, yeah. Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Oh. So yeah, slump could be bad. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the early days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired. When I desired it. But now you're kind of forced to... Yeah. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of true beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayuri in my own work. Well, you can still do that, right? Everyone has slumps. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my- I mean, that's some good motivation, man. Worldly desires are all that spurred my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. Whoa, uh, don't be hard on yourself, bro. Even artists do commissions to My apologies. put bread on the table, and it seems I've gotten somewhat carried away there. Yeah, it happens, man. Don't sweat it. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. Uh, I feel you. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is in essence a sin of sorts. Okay, yet again. Hard on yourself. Though, I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Yeah, you can still- Dude, you're gonna be fine, man. Just keep at it. I only wish to create work I can be genuinely proud of. I mean... You're not alone with that, right? Please, look over there at the Sayuri. Uh, okay. Her incandescent figure. Alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. I mean, you get it one day, man. You're just a kid right now. Is it surely because the painter behind the work differs? Because the soul differs? But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. Wait, what? What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand! Uh, to be perfectly frank though, I am unsure on how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? Uh, I'll try. You have already brought profound change to my world, hence. I believe you, of all people, may be able to bring me closer to the truth. Huh. Well, yeah, man. I'll help you out the best I can. You would. Wonderful. <laughs> Come on, man. You do the same for me. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic change in my work. But I cannot hide forever. And purity of the heart will undoubtedly seep into an artist's canvas eventually. I think you'll be fine, Yusuke, but if you insist, I must go now. My curfew approaches. See Seriously, Yusuke, it's high school. They are not going to kick you out because your heart is not 100% pure. I mean, it's Yusuke, though. He's not going to take that for an answer, but hey, maybe we can establish a confidant with him. And rain, huh? Hate the rain. Always brings me down. Yeah, you know what always brings me down? You complain about it, and so I checked online, and people are talking about it all over. Not my expert opinion. Ida, of class 2D, is guilty. You mean ida -kun from our class? Wait, start at the beginning. What is he guilty of? Supposedly, he's been spending money left and right recently. So that's because some great part-time job he got. Ooh, that is suspicious. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. Right? Can you try asking him about it, Don? I don't think you'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, don't mind giving it a try. Yeah, I can do it with her great acting. Have I really talked to Ida Kuhn before? I count on you to back me up, okay? If something happens, yeah, I got you on. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Thanks. It's a huge help. Hoping for some great things this time from Takamaki san's world class acting. Shut it. I hope this will get us even marginally closer to their so called boss. I leave this to you two. 
And I have high hopes for your acting as well, <laughs> You're both missing the point! Hey. It's true this either guy's guilty. Well, well, need to dig up some dirt. First thing in the morning. Alright, man, we got a lead! Heck, oh yeah, 14 days till we get a report. Well, we have a new deadline. That's lovely, but... Hey, at least we have some new confidants increased and also a lead. And god dang. We're actually doing really good on progress. Like, god! Ryuji's so high up and catchy coon. And the twins are still at rank one, but man, we're actually getting a really good spread of different confidants. It's only going to get better from this point onward, but yeah. A guy in our very own class might have a lead leading us to a mafia boss. Kind of a stretch, but hey, I can get behind it. And Oh yeah, there's some guy's arm on screen. <laughs> Ignore that. Anyways. Thank you all so much for watching. Next episode, it's time to dig up some dirt on our classmate. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.